It's without the wards, don't know which situation is. Spirit, Spirit going in, gets condemned into the wall, though, does get first blooded, and Spirit, that was too much. And actually got a build for the Cutlass, so does have much more potential here. Mystic gonna get knocked up there, Kakao's gonna go for a revisit. Good spell shield and Tornado might keep him just safe enough, but Kakao does good damages, forced to back away after smiting Mystic, though Boomerang Blade gonna come in. Mystic flashes forward for the kill, and the aggression paying off for the Korean AD carry, but Kiddies flashes back in, and Mystic reads him like a book, just jukes back. Dragon's gonna go to them as well. It's quite late here, but Kakao, he doesn't mind. I think I said that it's that is that sometimes people think of too binary. You're speaking of binary, yeah. kid's going kid aggressive. Kid is going aggressive. Koning will find him though. Kid once they go in, Kid is looks for the combo, just missing there onto Mystic. But Kid turning it around, exhaust down as well, kills him through the monsoon and the exhaust a little late there. And Kid aggression pays off. But need to talk about top lane. That was always going to be the case between Nara and Hecarim. And Spirits, nothing he can do on the Sejuani over both sides of the jungle. It'd be surprised. Oh, wow. Yeah, Phantom Nets are done as Rookie eats an ultimate, I believe. It cleanses out of it. Very good summoner spell against this lineup. They're still going in. Rookie, great flash there as Kakao gets a double knockup and takes some damage with the shield. Will keep himself. Kitties will rotate back in. Stand slow. But in a team fight, given how strong the rest of the team is, they might still go in for it. Shia, he does not want to eat a single auto attack, uh -oh. and he does. Kitties finds him as well. The so Tiger to go in. Good tornado from Conan, oh. but a flash three man ulti will find him. Kid's going to get the first kill. Conan gets in onto Jana. That's a double kill now as well, coming in onto Kid. And the vein is being unleashed by Invictus Gaming. You can, but if you can force fights around Mega Knight if, if he's exhausted, suddenly you only have health. But if you're going to manage it like that, free objectives like Baron should be the nice result. stuff from Zatai. Absolutely. Baron's going to go down. We can should fall there in the top side. In fact, Zatai's almost done it here with the Luka. Charges into Zatai. Might just ignore him for the inhibitor. In fact, that's exactly what he does. I mean, he might even go for the kill. He's below half health. That's so much kill pressure on a Luka. Watch these auto attacks. Just silly. Yeah, damage is quite silly. Mega Knight does get the wallop for a stun, but Mystic, Conan, and Spirit are all joining in as well. But Zatai backs away safely. He doesn't even need his flash, which he doesn't have so far. And IG rotate back in for another tier two in mid lane now. Look, if you're going to send multiple members, even with... Oh my that God. shockwave was so sick. Rookie gets the kill again onto Mystic Kid. Cleans out Sejuani. Aluka's poured it in, but it's far too late. Kikau gets the knockup onto Aluka. Damage going to come through as uh, Oriana. Going to get that next kill and Invictus Gaming. No setup required this time. Rookie pinpoint accuracy with the ulti. Well, you don't have to play around a Naba if Nar doesn't even have to show up in a 4v5 and the surrender comes through. Definitely necessary as IG completely smashed World Elite in the first game of the season. Yeah,